People are really at the heart of our work, that's clear. We were struggling to understand airborne transmission of pathogens from one patient to another within the dialysis unit, which is an open space. Clinicians are sometimes unaware of airborne infection risks, and it's really our job to prevent healthcare-associated infections. With Dassault Systems, thanks to augmented reality, an innovative educational tool, we have been able to reveal the invisible. One of San Luis Hospital's characteristics is that immunocompromised patients are treated within. We were concerned about the risk of airborne cross-contamination within the dialysis department. The dialysis unit at San Luis Hospital is a room where nine patients are treated simultaneously. We wanted to prevent these fragile patients from acquiring an infection during their treatment. Dr. Maylaw suggested carrying out an airflow simulation study. So with the virology department, we performed air measurements within the unit. And we discovered unexpected results. We couldn't imagine there could be a high viral concentration in one part of the room and a low one in another part. So we contacted Dassault Systems to discuss the implementation of airflow modeling. They scanned the entire ward to generate the digital twin of the dialysis department. They helped us visualize particle emissions with and without a mask, depending on ventilation inlets and outlets with different scenarios. Thanks to this innovative technology, we were clearly able to raise awareness among healthcare professionals on cross-transmission risks within hospitals. We have a tablet, it's mobile. The unit as well as patients are reproduced in 3D. Dialysis nurses and nursing assistants were astonished by the movements and the realism represented. They became aware of the existence of potential risk, even when wearing a mask, for example. Here we can see it. It's obvious. We see the difference with and without a mask, and indeed, there's no question about it. It speaks for itself. What we can say today is that overall, we were able to improve patient care within the dialysis unit and to offer our patients better safety regarding infectious risks, particularly respiratory risks.